13 Tactical. In this video, we're going to be looking at first sergeants. We all recognize it because, you know, across the different branches, it's you always have the diamond here. And uh, there's actually another name for that. I want to look into the just the history of it, what it looks like across the different branches, um, and just find out what we can what we can find out. Okay, so starting off, I'm at defense.gov. Okay, and it has all the different insignia laid out for all the all the different ranks. Okay, and uh, actually, this is the first time that I've seen the Space Force insignia. It's right here in this uh, fifth column. Uh, and it's, I don't know, it's pretty interesting. You have to let me know what you think below. This is the first time I've seen it, and I, I think it looks pretty good. You know, I'm not uh, not happy with that. Uh, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. Okay, so we have all the branches right here. We got Army, Marine Corps, Navy, Air Force, Space Force, Coast Guard. Okay, that's the order. So you come down here. Okay, we get down to E7. And that's the first time that we see first sergeant and it's only in the air force for the pay grade of e7 you have in the air force master sergeant and first sergeant and as you can see you have the diamond right there let me just pull this up i guess you have the diamond but it's sideways okay first sergeant okay now let's go down to um e8 and then <coughs> in the army this is the first time that you see first sergeant uh, in the Marine Corps. It's the first time you see first sergeant. And then you see first sergeant again for the Air Force. So for the Air Force has first sergeants for E7 and E8. Okay, let's go down. And then here you go again. The Air Force has uh, first sergeants in the pay grade of E9. So we're going to talk about that a little bit but that's kind of what we're looking for and it doesn't look like the space force has any first sergeants it goes technical sergeant master sergeant and then once you get to e8 it's senior master sergeant and then chief master sergeant and that's it there's no first sergeants in the air force or at least not yet i get maybe that'll change in the future i don't know but uh that's what we have there was something here that I highlighted on this page in regards to the Air Force. It says, at the level, at the E8 level, the Army, Marine Corps, and Air Force have two positions at the same pay grade. Uh, whether one is, for example, a senior master sergeant or a first sergeant in the Air Force depends on the person's job. Okay, so that's one hint as to uh, the Air Force and um, what's going on there. Okay. Go into the Wikipedia article that talks about this. And there's a lot of good information here. Okay, first sergeant is typically a senior non-commissioned officer or an NCO rank used in many countries. Uh, in NATO Armed Forces, the rank is OR8 level. Uh, and I guess we should put an asterisk and say typically that's what it is. Okay, United States. In the United States, a first sergeant generally serves as the senior enlisted advisor or SEA of a unit, such as a company, battery, or troop, or a U.S. Air Force squadron or higher level unit. Okay. Uh, while the specifics of the title may differ in the United States Army, Marine Corps, and Air Force, all first sergeants can be identified by the presence of a losinge. It's pronounced losinge shaped. Um, figure on their rank insignia, Colloqui colloquially diamond. And I, I pulled that up. I had never heard of this word in my life, uh, lasinge. A lasinge is referred to as a diamond. It is a form of rhombus. The definition of lasinge is not strictly fixed, and the word is sometimes used simply as a synonym for rhombus. Okay, so that's you know that's another name for it, lasinge. Um, in case you didn't know, but diamond. That's, that's the only thing I've ever known it as is just a diamond. Okay, I was in the army, so whatever. Historically, the rank of first sergeant has existed in the American army since 1781. So that's after the, uh, well, I think that's after the Revolutionary War. I can't remember how many years that went for. Let's look it up. Uh, years of the Revolutionary War... 
that went from 75 until uh, 75 until 83. So I'm going back here. Oh, so no, I guess it started in the Revolutionary War. Okay. Historically, the rank of first sergeant has existed in the American Army since 1783. That's the last part of the of the Revolutionary War. When a fifth sergeant was added <coughs> to the table of organization for Continental Army Infantry Regiments. Uh, the table of organization, that's basically, it determines, uh, ba basically the people that are in your unit, uh, how many positions there are, what ranks they are, so on and so forth. Okay, so it's saying here that a fifth sergeant was added at that time. Previously, under the tables of organization approved by the Continental Congress in 1776 and 79, there were four and three sergeants, respectively, authorized in each company. Which nowadays, <laughs> I mean, it seems kind of hard to imagine only having uh, three or four sergeants or even five. So it, it was much different times than what we're used to today. The sergeants were numbered in order of seniority, and the first sergeant, quote, quote unquote, was simply the senior sergeant in the company, uh, not a separate rank. So this, that's actually how we get the name first sergeant. It's not because, you know, necessarily that they're the top uh, enlisted service member in a company or whatever. It, it, it descends from this when you had only like a handful of sergeants and the, fist, the, fi the first sergeant was the most senior. And so that tradition carried down as uh, a lot of times that's how it happens in the military. Traditions carry down. And so they retain that name, first sergeant. Okay. And uh, it'd be interesting to see if like back in those days, if you, that's, I don't know if that's how you would address them. Like if you were a private, if you'd be like first sergeant, uh, second sergeant, third sergeant, I, I don't know. But anyway, af okay, uh, let's skip down. In 1833, first sergeant and orderly sergeant became separate pay grades, uh, ranking below sergeants major and quartermaster sergeants but above sergeants. So that's interesting because quartermaster, you know, that's basically, you know, if going back in time, I'm assuming that that's basically talking about supply. Um, I don't, I don't know really how things were organized back then, but quartermaster that's synonymous with supply uh, and cooks and, you know, stuff like that. So it sounds like back then the supply sergeant was above uh, the first <laughs> was above the first sergeant, which is also kind of hard to to picture. But the first sergeant was above the other sergeants. In 1851, uh, first sergeant was combined with the separate rank of orderly sergeant. Okay, so they were separate before, but then they became combined. And don't worry, we're going to talk about the Marine Corps and the Air Force. We're just kind of going in order. In the United States Army, since 1958, the rank of first sergeant, abbreviated 1SG, is considered a temporary rank in the E8 pay grade. Okay, so going back here to defense.gov, defense if we're looking at the E8s, you have the master sergeant and first sergeant, which are the same pay grade, but... Master Sergeant is like a permanent, well, I think you would consider it a permanent rank, but First Sergeant is not. It's like you're putting on uh, like the First Sergeant hat uh, for a while and filling that role, but it's not whatever. And, that, and that's different uh, than the Marine Corps. So anyway, before we get too far, because I remembered, I wanted to look at what this rank looked, back, looked like back through time. So... I want to look at both the Marine Corps and the Army. I didn't pull anything up for the Air Force because I think it's pretty much always been the same since the, the Air Force was organized. But I have, okay. First, okay, look, looking at the North Carolina Museum of History, they have a thing here about the Civil War, uh, Civil War Army Organization and Rank, and they had something here I wanted to read about sergeants. Okay. 
So, you know, here we, here you have private, these are the ranks, okay, private, corporal, sergeant, sergeant major, and then after that, lieutenant, captain, major, lieutenant colonel, colonel, brigadier general, major general, and that's it. Okay, sergeant. Sergeants served either in the regimental color guard or in individual companies of the regiment. There could be divisions related to administrative duties within the rank, for example, first sergeant, ordnance sergeant, the quartermaster sergeant, uh, infantry sergeants advanced either in or behind the line of battle depending on individual responsibilities. They helped guide troop movements and kept the men in their positions by example and force of command. Okay, so um, I pulled up this website that looks like it's from 1995, but it says that it was updated in 2018. So, but it has some pictures here of what those ranks looked like. So this one is for the army. So you have these two five-year service stripes, okay? But you have corporal, so like the first one that would be like a rank. You have corporal right here. And in those days, the chevrons were pointing down. And then uh, artillery sergeant, uh, red, okay? Three stripes. And then first sergeant, three stripes pointing down with the diamond right there on top, okay? Um, let's see, hospital steward, ordnance sergeant, also red, and then there's like a star, like a red star right there. Uh, company quartermaster sergeant for cavalry, and then if it was for artillery, I guess it was, re well, regimental quartermaster, quartermaster sergeant. And then finally, sergeant major, which to our modern eyes, that looks more like a, I don't know. To me, it looks like just like an E5 sergeant, upside down, kind of, so, sort of. But it has rockers, of course. But anyway, that's what they look like. And then for the Marine Corps, uh, the Marine Corps, they faced upwards. And um, same color scheme as today, red and yellow, red and gold. You got the corporal, sergeant, first sergeant. But interestingly, there was, well, according to this, there's no diamond but over here on this left side there is a diamond so i don't i don't know and then after that drum major with a star regimental quartermaster no star and then sergeant major same thing as up here so basically it's just reverse you know upside down right side up um, between army and marine corps on that all right if we're looking back now this is world war one okay and in World War I, here you have first sergeant, and here are the different grades. So it goes from the highest rank down. So first grade is the highest rank, regimental sergeant major. You know, you go on down, battalion sergeant major, color sergeant. Um, and then in the fifth grade, you have first sergeant. And there's no rockers uh, below the chevrons but you do have the diamond. And then you have the mess sergeant that has a moon. Stable sergeant has a horse head right there, uh, which is kind of amazing to think that we were still using horses in World War I, but, you know, it was World War I. Okay, and then here's a first sergeant for infantry, 1902 to 1903. It's blue because it's infantry in the army. That's the color of infantry. Um, I think this is pretty cool though. Look at this. You have Sergeant First Class of Engineers and then it has the Engineers Castle uh, insignia in, in the middle there. And then you got Signal right there. So I, I think that's actually pretty cool. Kind of wish that's how it was now, but I don't know. So there's that. And then World War II looks a little bit more like today. <coughs> It's kind of weird. You have the first sergeant, but it only has two rockers. Uh, no, that's how it is now, right? No, there's three rockers now. Let, let me go over here. Yeah, one, two, three. So in World, World War II, there were only two rockers underneath. Let's go down. From 43 to 48, they added another rocker. So anyway, you, you get the idea. You get the idea. I'm going to put all these links in the description below in case you want to research further. Um, I found one for the Marine Corps. Uh, this, 
I mean, you can see right here, this is dated August 1936. So I guess this is how Marine Corps ranks looked at the time. I'm going to zoom in. You got Sergeant Major, Quartermaster Sergeant with like a wagon wheel right there. Um, Master Sergeant Technical has the moon. Oh, it says mess right there. So uh, it's the same with the Army and the Marines as the moon for mess. And then there's the first sergeant. And um, you only have two rockers underneath for first sergeant at that time. And then you have a bunch of other interesting things. Supply sergeant. So you have the quartermaster sergeant and then the supply. This is probably the company level supply sergeant. And uh, maybe that's for a regiment or something. Uh, drum sergeant. So it, it's just kind of, it's cool to look back and see these things. I think that's pretty interesting. Um, okay. Let's go back here. So <clears throat> we had just read that for the U.S. Army the the rank of first sergeant is temporary and then it continues a first sergeant is generally senior to a master sergeant in leadership matters though a master sergeant may have more general military authority such as when in charge of a military police section so yeah it, it just depends upon reassignment to a non first sergeant billet the soldier reverts to his or her original rank of master sergeant unless promoted to E9, um, either a sergeant major or a command sergeant major. The position of first sergeant is the highest U.S. Army NCO rank position that is still in a direct hands-on leadership setting, as are command sergeant majors, uh, positions in a battalion command or higher level unit assignments of higher rank. First sergeants are generally the senior non-commissioned officers of a company or battery or troop sized units and are unofficially but commonly referred to as and this is in the army i think i think it's different well it, it seems like it's different in the air force from what i've seen and i'll show you but commonly referred to as first sausage <laughs> so, okay. um i i've never called my first sergeant that but uh first sausage top top sergeant top soldier top kick first shirt uh, due to their seniority and their position at the top of the company's enlisted ranks i i have only ever heard top as like an alternate for first sergeant i've, not, I've never heard these other ones i may i may have actually heard first sausage one time obviously not talking to the first sergeant <laughs> but um anyway okay uh in the Bundeswehr, the German army, the first sergeant in German, Kompaniefeldweibel, uh, is called father of the unit, uh, a concept also in place in the U.S. Army. Uh, they are sometimes referred to as second hat because the company commander may entrust them with important responsibilities, even over one of the company's lieutenants, especially junior lieutenants. So second hat. Um, first sergeants are the first are the first step in disciplinary actions, such as in Article 15, which is a non-judicial punishment proceeding. A first sergeant may place a soldier under arrest uh, and on restriction to quarters in certain cases, as well as manage all of the daily responsibilities of running the company slash unit. Now, the Marine Corps. Okay, now we're gonna there's some differences here. In the United States Marine Corps, first sergeant, abbreviated 1ST, SGT, is a permanent rank. So that's something I didn't know until I did this video. So it's a permanent rank and ranks above gunnery sergeant and below sergeant major and master gunnery sergeant. Um, it's equal, it, just like the Army, it is equal in grade, like pay grade, to master sergeant. So if we go back here... So you have basically the same thing. You have the master sergeant here, master sergeant here, and then the first sergeant, first sergeant. In the Air Force, it's called senior master sergeant and then first sergeant. So it's it's kind of similar. Um, in the Air Force, there's only two chevrons uh, for this rank, but on the Marine Corps and uh, Army, it's three. And then the Marine Corps has the cross rifles in the middle right there. 
Okay, so unlike first sergeants and master sergeants in the U.S. Army, no lateral movement is possible between the two ranks in the Marine Corps. They are permanent appointments and require a change in occupational specialty. So I find that pretty interesting. Uh, rather, gunnery sergeants elect a preference on their fitness reports, which are considered before promotion. Ultimately, those selected for either rank are appointed based on suitability, previous duty assignments, and the needs of the Marine Corps. In their Later in their careers, first sergeants are eligible to be considered for promotion to sergeant major, while master sergeants can be promoted to master gunnery sergeant. So if we go back over here, so it's like, it's kind of like you hit a fork in the road once you get to this point at E8. You either go this way, master sergeant, or you go this way, first sergeant. And then if you promote after that, first sergeants go on to be sergeant majors, and uh, master sergeants go on to be master gunnery sergeants. And I'll probably do a video, I'll end up doing a video for everything. I, my, my purpose with this channel is just to explore all things military. Um, there's no limits. I want to find out everything that I possibly can. I myself served for just one enlistment, but it, it's kind of a passion of mine. So, but there you have it. Whereas in the army, um, you can go from i'm pretty sure you don't have to be a first sergeant first before you can go from a master sergeant to sergeant major or command sergeant major so it's different these are not two um there's no fork in the road right here and the first sergeant position is temporary okay so let's go back here um Da, 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 da. The grade of first sergeant initially appeared in the Marine Corps in 1833. So this was much later than for the Army. Uh, when Congress created the ranks of first sergeant of the guard at sea and order, orderly sergeant of the post, of which 30 billets for the rank were established. In 1872, the Corps replaced the title of orderly sergeant with the rank of first sergeant. The rank of first sergeant was another casualty of the rank realignment of 1947, but it was reestablished in 1955. So it's it's kind of weird. It was gone for a little while, uh, less than 10 years, but it, it came back. Okay, now the Air Force. In the U.S. Air Force, first sergeants are special duty temporary ranks. So that's, that's more like the uh, Army. I don't know that you see it as special duty in the army, but anyway, special duty, temporary ranks, and positional billets. First sergeants are not guaranteed to be promoted to the next level pay grade of first sergeant, often referred to as the first shirt or shirt. The first sergeant is responsible for the morale, welfare, and conduct of all the enlisted members in the squadron and is a chief advisor to the squadron commander concerning the enlisted force. So it's, it, you know, it's the equivalent, it's the equivalent of the other first sergeants, basically, uh, with what they do. Uh, this positional billet is held by individuals of pay grades E7 through E9. Now that's different from the Army and the Marine Corps. In the Army and the Marine Corps, it's just E8. In the Air Force, it can be E7, E8, or E9. So Master Sergeant, Senior Master Sergeant, and Chief Master Sergeant, and is uh, denoted on the rank insignia by a lozenge, colloquially, colloquially known as a diamond. Most units have a Master Sergeant, sorry, most units have a Master Sergeant in this position. Uh, larger units use Senior Master Sergeants and Chief Master Sergeants as First Sergeants. Okay, so it seems like this is based on the size of the unit. So the standard, the standard is the E7 being a first sergeant. And then if the large if the units are larger, then the E8 may become a first sergeant or even an E9, which that is a really foreign concept to me, thinking of a E9 as a first. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's like it's like inconceivable <laughs> to me when I think about the army. Uh, but an E9 can be a first sergeant in the Air Force. In the Air Force, you have chief master sergeant, and then first sergeant, and then command chief master sergeant, and then after that, you have, of course, with each branch, the you know, the, the, the top for the, the one position, uh, whatever, whatever you want to call it, you know, Sergeant Major of the Army, Chief Master Sergeant of the Air Force, so on and so forth. So that's a really interesting concept that they do it like that. Um, okay, Singapore made this article for some reason. Okay, and then just, I just want to touch on it, law enforcement also sometimes has first sergeants. Um, their ranks, from what I can tell, uh, I don't know a whole lot about it, but it's it's almost like a watered down military um, when it comes to ranks. And obviously it's different, it's, it's substantially different, but <clears throat> it says here, some law enforcement agencies, especially state police and highway patrol organizations have first sergeants who are typically in charge or command or command of a detachment, district, region, area, barracks, or posting consisting of anywhere from 10 to 50 or more troopers or officers. Most law enforcement first sergeants are mid-level management leaders with 10 to 30 or more years of experience. So 10 to 30 years of experience. So, but that's gonna, you know, that's gonna change based on various factors i think from what i've seen before uh because i have looked this up but i think larger cities also tend to have uh first sergeants so no i'll save that for another time maybe i'll do some police stuff on here occasionally and then um you know that's pretty much going to be it I, I did find a few other things that kind of talk about first sergeants um, in fact yeah let me read a few of these things um, this is for Joint Base Charleston. Chiefs, first sergeants, why do we have both? Um, so what it says here, picture it like a three-lane highway. Lane one is employments and productivity. That's the chief's lane. Uh, if you're in the army or the, or the, so the, that, the chief is E9, okay? So that's the E9's lane. Uh, the chief ensures the right airmen are placed in the right duty positions to carry out the mission. Okay, so that's lane one. And then it skips down to lane three is good order and discipline. That's the first sergeant's lane. The chief ensures any outside influences and barriers are dealt with so airmen can focus on their tasks. Lane two, the middle lane, is morale and education. This is the shared lane. Both the chief, or the E9, and the first sergeant, um, uh, well, yeah. So both the chief and the first sergeant are responsible for ensuring our airmen are trained in both Air Force specialty code specific and professional military education areas and rewarded for going above and beyond. Okay, so that's what they had to say about that. Uh, this is in Joint Base McGuire Dix Lakehurst. Uh, Air Force shirts are diamond sharp. And this says, first sergeants or first shirts, as they are often called, uh, at least in the Air Force, are accountable to respond to the needs of unit members 24 hours a day, seven days a week, requiring them to work long and irregular hours. And you know, I'll tell you a personal story. When I was in the army, I lived on post and it was a weekend. I think it was like a Friday, if I remember right. And we we lived in on post in this like kind of duplex. And in the one next to us, there was this just like domestic disturbance going on. We, we knew our neighbors really well. They were fighting and it spilled out to like outside and it just like it woke up the entire neighborhood and um you know <laughs> the the police came the the MPs came they checked her out and she ha she had like a bruise or two but I, I don't know what the what the officer was thinking but they 
anyway, because they were both denying that he hurt her, but it was pretty clear that he did, in, in my opinion. And I even kind of like told the police, but they, they didn't do anything. They called the first sergeant and um, the first sergeant had to come in from, you know, because he lived off post and he came and talked to him and stuff. And uh, he apologized like the, the guy that this the guy that did this was he himself was a I think he was an E5 sergeant and he's like i'm so sorry for sergeant you know it's the weekend and and the first sergeant's like you know no that's what i get paid to do that's part of the the responsibility that i have to take care of and uh, i get higher pay so it's just this is my job and i thought that was like so professional because if i <laughs> i'll tell you what if i was called in on the weekend uh, at night and this was late this was like something like 11 at night um, I would have been upset, <laughs> but he, this guy totally kept his cool. He was a really good example and I just couldn't believe how professional he was. Um, so it was a really cool thing to witness. Okay. Going down the diamond on their rank insignia symbolizes the time honored special duty, which has become a crucial part of each air force squadron. The history of the notable diamond. So not not the rank itself, but like when the diamond shows up, the history of the notable diamond bakes back dates back to 1847. Uh, so this would be before the civil war when, uh, army first sergeants were first authorized to wear this distinction centered on their chevrons. Uh, the history of the first sergeant in general, however, is much older, uh, Feld Vable, were the 17th century Prussian army equivalent to today's first sergeants. So the Prussia, that's like, you know, basically what Germany was before um, it was Germany. Feldwebels were tasked with keeping the commander informed of events while maintaining unit obedience. And ironically enough, were the only NCOs allowed to beat soldiers. <laughs> oh boy. That'd be interesting to see today. Uh, there's a just. <laughs> oh, I, wish, I wish I could see that today. <clears throat> there's a stark contrast between today's first sergeants and those of the past. Modern day first sergeants are much more uh, affable, regularly visit ailing service members in the hospital. A majority of their core tasks still involve uh disciplinary actions yet a first sergeant's duties are far reaching into the realm of unit cohesion and morale today george washington relied heavily on general uh, baron von steuben uh, to help him steuben baron von steuben i think it's steuben uh, to help him organize the new american army during the revolutionary war steuben directed the majority of his attention to outlining the role of the company first sergeant his take on the Prussian Feldwebel, or Vable. This position would prove to be key in maintaining a unit's obedience and discipline. Thus began the role of the first sergeant in the American army or the American military. So it's because of this guy from the Prussian army. He's like, you, you guys, you need to have a first sergeant. There has to be a first sergeant to maintain order, discipline, obedience, and then, uh, quote, history has taught us that almost all successful squadrons had a strong first sergeant at its core, end quote. Said Master Sergeant Don Pedro, 2nd and 32nd Air Refueling Squadron's first sergeant from Pawtucket, Rhode Island. Quote, first sergeants set the tone for their squadron, end quote. And uh, I would second that for any first sergeant they do set the tone that the commander does too and sometimes the uh exo but definitely the first sergeant for sure here's another thing i'm not going to read this but this is from 919th special operations wing with the air force the four c's that true uh the four c's the true value of a diamond and it goes through like comparing first sergeants to diamonds, you know, the cut, the color, not, re <laughs> not referring to race. I don't see uh, clarity, carrot weight. So I don't know. I, 
I just kind of like put all this stuff together, decided not to really, really go through this, but if you want to check this out, then, then I'll put it in the description below. Um, here on DVIDs, I pulled up this picture of this first sergeant. You know, this is what it looks like. There's the... Now, th this is someone that you don't want to mess with. I, I can tell, I mean, with any first sergeant, but this one in particular, he he looks like a, a first sergeant. And uh, there's the there's the rank right there. Um, I don't know if you go back here and if you're looking at the, the way that the rank looks for the army, I don't know that this hollow uh, diamond... Well, I guess it, I guess this is official because this is currently on the defense.gov website. So if you were to actually uh, illustrate the rank properly for the army, I guess currently it is hollow in the middle. Whereas with the Marine Corps, um, it's filled in. Okay, and then like I said, with the Air Force, it's like it's like sideways um, so that it kind of like goes along with the the pattern that they have here, the, the way that the chevrons go. So um, anyway, I guess we'll have to just, just keep an eye on, we'll have to keep an eye on, on the Space Force because, you know, the role that the first sergeant plays, you would think that that would probably be useful in any military branch. I'm not very familiar with the Coast Guard in the Navy, but I do intend to do a lot of study. But you would think that since since the Air Force comes from the Army, right? Since the Air Force comes from the Army and the Space Force comes from the Air Force, that they would probably carry that over. But again, we'll just have to see what happens. Maybe Maybe that's one way that they'll be different from the Air Force. Okay, so uh, that's going to be it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe. Like this video if you liked it. Leave your thoughts, opinions, additional information in the, in the comments below. Also, make sure to share this with anyone that would find this interesting. And I'll talk to you guys.